I was I felt so blessed by what my mentor was showing me. I was like, people need to know this. And so I said, no, I want to be a builder of community. And so I did my degree, but then I went out and I started working. I didn't really have the clarity about what I wanted to do. How many people here have something burning inside of them? You're not absolutely sure what it is, but you've just got something that is your passion that you want to pursue. Anyone? Okay, so I'm talking to the right people here. So that was me. So, yeah, my family were having meetings about me because they thought I'd done what's my mind. You know, uh, I set up as a as a, a not-for-profit organization. Well, first of all, I was just out there just trying to make this work, trying to do things, and uh, I just loved it. You know, it, it made sense to me. And so the reason why I'm sharing this is because I want you to know that nobody, respectfully, I say nobody, no teacher, no parent, no relative, has the right to tell you what success means for you. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Because what I found is that many of us, many of us have a sense of what success means before we're even 10. But we give that over, and I write about that in my book. We give that over to, you know, whether it be the parents, whether it be the school teachers, and they're saying, this is what you should be. They don't know you. They don't know the gifts that you have. My creativity, my father, God bless him, I know that he meant well. And many of our parents do mean well. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> Don't let me get mad with you now. <laughs> they meant well because they wanted us to be successful and they didn't want us to go through what they went through. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it makes yeah. sense. But what they failed to recognize is it's a different time. It's a different time. So you can't apply the same rules. And for those of you who are God-fearing, if you are created in God's image, who is anyone to say what God wants you to become? So I'm like, I have an issue with that. So I'm wanting to encourage you to let you know that don't let go of your passion. Don't let go of your passion because it will take you somewhere extraordinary and as I said I'm a prove it to you this evening so I don't want to take up too much time because I know we've got a lot of things going on but um, I want to just clarify so we all want to experience richness yes mm -hmm. and we all want to be successful yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Who wants to be successful? Please put your hands up. Right, okay. So, what's your definition of success? Anyone like to share? Yes, sir. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan. Yes. You can be dapper there, Tristan. Thank you. Okay. Um, success, I guess, uh, goes down to self achievement. Uh, I believe it is something. It's something which you, you produce solely from yourself, um, rather than things that revolve around you. Um, and I believe that success is, is growth. I guess. It's growth. Okay. Thank you for that. Let's have someone from this side. And I want to add to, did you hear what he said? Yeah. Okay. Add, um, did you want to? Something that honors your being. Uh, hold on. Well, you're cheating. You ain't allowed to be. You're sitting at the back. You ain't allowed to so. Okay. Oh. Hi. 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 Uh, success uh, would be with the number of people you've helped to become leaders. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Say again. Can you stand up, please? Because you're sitting at the back. 
Um, I would say success is uh, measured by the number of people you've helped to become leaders. So how many people you've helped? Pretty amazing. Round of applause for The only one I know that she, she was on our last program. Her, her daughter, her son, and her son-in-law, she put them all on the program. So that's why you're getting pro with them, no doubt. Anyone else want to add to that in terms of what their definition of success is? Junior. Um, I think it's like doing the most important thing you can do in your life. Wow, now you're taking it deep. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, can you stand up, please? All right, everyone else can stand up, introduce yourself. My name is Junior. Um, I'll be thinking about success. I'll, I've heard a lot of people say that as long as you do what you love and do what you like, but when you think about it, there's lots of things that we love and lots of things that we like. So, and they say you're making money from it, that's also success. But I think that's good, but I don't think that's really true. I think it's actually doing the most important thing you can do in your life. So that's it. Wow. Well, she's got a point, because here's the thing. Some drug dealers like selling drugs and making loads of money. But are they successful? <laughs> wow. Success is sharing your passion and your knowledge to everyone that you meet. Okay. Sharing your knowledge and passion. Well, I like this. I like this. Yes, young man. Sorry, can you stand up? And you need to get to it. I thought that success is setting a goal. Sorry, sorry. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, because we like to, we must honor each other. When someone's speaking, we all want to hear what they want to say, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think success is setting a goal and achieving it, so self accomplishment. Okay. Cool. So, interesting how many different theories that we're hearing about what success really means. So, we've all got different ideas about it. And we all want to be successful, right? Yep. So, can you tell me the name of the school or college? that teaches you how to be successful? Life. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a conversation a little, a little while ago. That's where you're going there. How you just, my, just, my whole spirit is just... <laughs> See, that's why I don't like talking to people when they come. <laughs> so, the fact is, there's no school or college or university and this is what gets me about young people. Now, if you want to get a degree, it's costing you how much is it? Nine and a half thousand? But I know, 10,000, it's going up. I know young people who are coming out with 50 grand worth of debt. And, and then they decide that they don't know what they want to do. They don't want to do that course. I'm like, wow. There is no school or college. And I've worked in the educational system that teaches you how to be successful. They'll tell you supposedly about do this, do that, get a good career. <laughs> That ain't it. So, if nothing else that you gain from tonight, I want to say publicly and let you know that if you haven't realized, the world has changed. And education does not guarantee you anything. No degree guarantees you anything. So, but we all want to be successful. So how about making it just very simple so that we all understand what this success thing is, so then we know where we're going. Because one of my things that I'm always sharing with my students is this statement that when I heard it, it changed my life. And the statement was, confusion is created through lack of clarity. So if you are not absolutely clear what success means for you, you're in a state of confusion. And if you're in a state of confusion, what's the odds that you're going to be able to achieve that thing that you want to achieve? It diminishes, right? So... I'm kind of wondering whether people have been playing us a little bit with the whole educational system. Yes, I've got a degree, and it's great to be able to say that because I can hold a conversation with someone when they're starting to act like, mm. you, know, you know those, those ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, don't take it there. I've got a degree, long time, yeah. But is that the thing that has made me the person I am today? No way. The golden nuggets that I picked up from my mentor that changed my life, that's what it's about. So the point I'm making is have a vision. Have a vision and have faith and confidence in you. So 
my mentor, he shared with me his vision and uh, an amazing guy, but his definition of success was this. <coughs> he said, doing what you love. Being able to do what you love, number one. <coughs> doing what honors you. And I love that because like I said, there's drug dealers out there that love making that kind of money. But does it honor them? <coughs> you know, so many of our young people are, because if you didn't know, young people are smarter than us adults a long time. <coughs> and so from when they're in their early teens, they're already calculating and working out how are they going to get this money? And I know because I've spent 20 years working with them. But if they don't have a clear definition from early on, then they're going to find themselves slipping into all kinds of things. Because they're like, you know what? I just need to shot a little bit and I can make a little bit of money and I can help my mom. You know all that kind of talk? But then they find themselves in all kinds of mix-up and then it's too hard to get out. You're looking at me like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We're keeping it real here today, right? Because yeah. yeah. it's about our community. It's about our community. And one of the reasons why I took up this mantle in terms of saying, okay, I'm gonna do this once a student said to me, hey, we need to share this, is because I'm sick and tired of seeing how things are in our community and I wanna be part of that change. So, one, doing what you love, two, doing what honors you, and three, that which has benefit for others. Now, doesn't that sound like a definition that you could work with? Yeah? Yeah. 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 So I'm like, yeah, all right, I can go with that. So that's, that's my thing, and, and as Nyla said, if you can impact and empower people, <coughs> then trust me, it's, I, I find it an honor and I'm blessed to have been in the position that from, from the day I graduated, I have not had to work for anyone. Because I'm following my passion, because I have a vision. When you follow your vision, things happen that don't even make sense. I'm just gonna share some of my story to illustrate, but it still doesn't make sense. But I do know that they are principles. So whether you understand them or not, they, when, you, when you employ them, they manifest, they work. Anyone here heard of the law of attraction? Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's all of that kind of stuff. But actually there's a secret behind the scenes because that was just a commercial scenario. And we know because our mentor uh, received quite a substantial donation from the author, Rhonda Byrne, because when she saw how my mentor was rolling, she's like, okay, yeah. <coughs>